It was only last October that Google introduced Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich, but time never stands still at the Google Sweet Shop because here comes Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. I'm Jessica Dalcourt for CNET with a first look at Jelly Bean running on the Samsung Galaxy Nexus. Here are the highlights. First, Google has sped up the entire operating system so that everything loads a little bit faster and a little bit smoother. Here I'm comparing it to a Galaxy Nexus running Android 4.0. Now if you like widgets, then you're going to love that certain ones are now resizable as long as you have space for them on any given home screen. I also really love what Google is doing to enrich the notifications bar. Now when someone emails you, when you miss a call, when you take a screenshot, or you get a Google Plus photo, and so on, you'll be able to get more information about whatever the item is in the notification shade. You'll also be able to interact with it from there, and as usual, you can swipe it away when you're done. Google has done a lot of work with voice and keyboard search. It's jazzed up voice actions with a completely revamped search app that you can now pull up from the home button on the bottom. You can ask a range of questions like, Google, when was Aretha Franklin born? Show me images of kittens. Sometimes you'll get a card with the answers, and other times you'll get web search results. You can also voice navigate to a location, search nearby, and so on. But possibly the most useful new feature is Google Now, which is connected to the Google Voice app. It can do things like automatically estimate your commute times, check your flight times, and present sports scores for your favorite teams. It knows your favorite teams because you have searched for them. The way it works is that Google will periodically check your GPS coordinates and calendar to see where you are, learn your commute, and discern when you're traveling. Since I just got this phone, I haven't actually had a lot of time to test out those features, but they do sound really useful in a vaguely creepy sort of way. Another aspect of voice is offline typing. So if you're somewhere where you can't get online, you can still dictate a message or email. It works pretty well. I am now dictating an email message from the train and I have absolutely no Wi-Fi connectivity and no data connection either, period. The new Google Play brings magazine subscriptions, movie purchases, and TV episodes. You can download all the content for offline viewing, which is awesome for my daily train commute. Google Currents similarly shows content like CNET Headline News, for example, and it's in a swipeable magazine style that looks really good. Moving on to the camera app, Jelly Bean now lets you swipe to see your recently shot photos. And if you pinch a picture, you'll get a smaller film strip that you can swipe through. You can also swipe away a photo to delete it, and you can undo that if you change your mind. The last feature I'm going to show you is another terrific addition. Android Beam is now expanding to also let you share larger content like photos and videos from one compatible phone to another. That's in addition to URLs, maps, contact information, and all of the other stuff you could already share with Beam. Believe it or not, there's even more going on in Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, so make sure that you check out CNET's full review for all the details. I'm Jessica Dalcourt, and you're watching CNET TV.